Hey guys, this is Bill from the Upside of Downsizing. And the next project will be taking place tomorrow morning, bright and early. And it will be with the assistance of Derek Handyman, as well as uh, Brian from the Midlife Prices. And the project is going to be moving that gate. So, if you've seen any of Handyman's videos about the uh, construction of the garage, he has a giant lift. So we're gonna, I'm going over to his place tomorrow morning. He's gonna drive his tractor over and I'm gonna bring the lift over. And we're gonna use the lift right here. Let's see if I can stay focused. We're gonna use the lift. There it goes. Bring it up to the crossbar position here. Undo these straps and then support the crossbar on the lift drive forward a little lower it down bringing down the crossbar then the tr then the next uh the next step in the plan is to use the uh the forks on his, the front of his tractor we're going to drive the forks in like that secure the pole with a chain and hopefully lift it up drive it forward and drop it down into the hole we'll find out so good morning. I'm heading over to Handyman's and what we're going to do is uh, pick up Handyman's tractor and that big old lift that you've seen in his videos recently and together he and I are going to go back to our place and move the gate from one position right near the street a little further up on our property. So, I don't know if Bill's talked about any of this yet, but they're trying to raise this top beam off. It's secured with some metal straps. Oh gosh, look out, coming down. <laughs> so we've got the upright between the forks. The forks are squeezed as tight as possible. Now Handyman's using the uh, the tow chain. He actually looks like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, Let me do a, let me do need, a. I'm good, I've got some. If you need one in a pinch over the next few days or whatever until you do something, I have a tripod. Oh, I got another one. It's, oh, just, okay, a big, one. it's just a big one. Right. Not, okay, with the chain secured to the post and the post to the tractor, handyman was able to lift it out of its hole and using great caution, able to maneuver it over to its new home. You know, having the right tools and the right personnel to use those tools and heavy machinery can make a really difficult job possible. And again, my thanks go out to all of our friends and neighbors who helped on this project. So Handyman is bringing it over to the new hole, and I am guiding him in. You'll notice that he has to constantly lower the uh, forks and then correct the tra trajectory of the pole and so tipping it back lowering the forks and then tipping the f forks down it was a dance to get it in and then as soon as it was in we realized the hole wasn't deep enough it was so we had to take out probably another six or eight inches of sandy soil and that's what you're seeing us do right here 
this is Taylor. He's new to the neighborhood, and he and his wife, Melissa, are looking to also buy property and homestead. So there, he was here helping out today, and we really appreciate that. You can see that the soil doesn't want to really uh, come out too easily using a hand post hole digger because it's so sandy. So the trick is really just adding more water to it and get, keeping it as wet as possible. That just uh, allows it to stick together and the, the tool becomes a little, a little more useful. And the other nice thing about having several people around is you can tag in and out and one person doesn't have to... Uh, kill themselves and break their back doing this kind of work so now we have brian from midlife prices the tall guy he's coming in the tall young guy he's coming in and making fast work of cleaning out this hole handyman notices that uh, a little more water needs to be added and through this process we were able to get the hole to the proper depth and the post then successfully set this was probably the most difficult part of the project is just working it by hand and uh, but it allowed us it, it sometimes you just have to muscle through it and that's all there is to it so we, again we're coming close to getting it to the proper depth once the hole was cleared out we set the post tamped it down using the soil and moved on to the next pole so this has been secured now with the chain and handyman's able to lift this one out pretty easy and uh, you know with practice you gain a little bit of experience and become a little more confident so he's got that lifted out nice and easy and is going to bring it over to the prepared second hole. The hole on this side uh, needed to be expanded a little bit because we realized that the uh, diameter needed to be about 12 inches to successfully manipulate this uh, this large post into a new home so directing it into place went rather smooth and this time the depth was also correct so once we got this one set, we were able to then go right on to the next phase of leveling, I should say plumbing the post and uh, packing it in. Yeah, thank you. As you can see, our communica hand signal communications also got a little bit better with practice. So the next uh, time we need to move a gate, which hopefully will be never, we'll be pros at it. So now that the post has been set, we are uh, backfilling the hole using our soil fortified with clay and a little bit of Portland cement, wetting it down with the hose and tamping it with a sledgehammer. This will give it a very secure footing and uh, should not, uh, not give us any problems in the future. Now that both posts have been set, it's time to get the crossbar up. We place the crossbar on the forks of the tractor and handyman is going to drive that over to the lift and then a few of us will wrangle that post and get it up onto the lift. Once it's up on the lift, it's just a question of driving it up and uh, positioning it and dropping it into place, or so we thought. So the post was actually held on with two pieces of rebar driven through the post into, uh, through, pardon me, through the crossbar into the post. And what we ended up doing was using a cutoff blade and an angle grinder, taking out one of the pieces of rebar and leaving the other. So once we get this post in place, we're going to raise the lift 
and then we're going to attempt to put that crossbar over the original rebar pin and that will be on the post in the left side of the screen. So this is a little bit was a little bit tricky because you couldn't see what the, the those of us working in the lift couldn't see where that pin rebar pin was. So with the help of Brian and Yvonne uh, saying move it left, move it right, move it forward, move it backward, we were actually able to uh, drop it down onto that original rebar pin. So we're raising the lift, and you'll see that on the left-hand side, we're going we to be doing our best to position our using both the lift no. as well as sliding the pole uh, backwards, forwards, left and right. We're going to do our best to find that rebar pin on that left post, and hopefully we can drop it, drop the crossbar right back over that rebar. It was tricky and actually thinking about it now in retrospect, it was actually amazing that we were even able to get this done. But once we were able to get it uh, into position, it held in place, sort of, and we maneuvered the lift over and then whacked it down with the uh, sledgehammer. So it looks like we just about got it. I think this is the point where Brian yelled about a half an inch further out. So we slid it out and all of a sudden you could feel it dropping into place. So now this is the point where we maneuver over, grab the sledge, and pound that baby home. Now on this side, because we had cut off the original rebar using that angle grinder, we uh, took about a 10 inch piece of quarter inch rebar and just drove it straight through that post or crossbar into the post, securing it. And then once these rebar, that rebar was in place, we took the original strapping material, put it back over the crossbar, and secured that with some five inch lag screws. That's not going nowhere. Okay, so we've got these uh, strapping secured with some lag screws and rebar driven down through the top. And we're just about ready to call this a wrap. Get out of the way, handyman. Without the help of handyman and the machinery and Brian from Midlife Prices and Taylor's here and Doug, our neighbor, this was really a community effort and I want to thank everybody. It really uh, couldn't, have did it, could have, couldn't have gotten it done without you.
So after the one side was secured with the lag screws, we